in the middleweight division at UFC Fight Night. You got Ikram Aliskarov coming in at 14 and 1 with a brand new opponent. Wardley Alves, the Brazilian, comes in at 15 and 6. And he's a worthy competitor. So let's get into it. Aliskarov, one inch taller at six feet. Uh, he's 185 pounds normally. Al Alves is 170, so he's moving up. Aliskarov, two years younger at 30. Uh, compared to the 32-year-old Alves, Aliskarov has a four-inch reach advantage, 76 to 72. He lands 6.3 significant strikes per minute to 3.2 for Alves. That's going to be a problem. He also lands more than one takedown per round, 3.5 over the course of three rounds. So you're looking at more than three takedowns in the course of an average fight. Alves lands like 1.4 uh, over three rounds, so slightly less than one every other round. Aliskarov, takedown defense has been not needed, so we don't have that. He beat Phil Hawes by KO in 2 minutes and 10 seconds. He beat Mario Souza at the Contender Series in 209, so by submission. So he can win either way, right, submission or KO. Alves, 80% takedown defense, so, you know, that'll help in this fight. But he's lost to Nicholas Dalby by split decision, Jeremiah Wells by KO. Randy Brown by submission. He did beat Munir Lezez by KO. So he's a worthy competitor, and I think he'll put on a good fight for a little while. But Aliskarov's on a different level, and every fight's just another test. Aliskarov is 14-1 and one for a reason. This guy is dominant. He's going to continue to dominate, and he's not losing against a, a welterweight coming up to middleweight. Aliskarov wins this fight. Standing on the feet, he's going to dominate in significant strikes and probably do it that way because he knows Alves, Brazilian, can do some dang, uh, can do some damage on the ground. So he's probably more likely to keep this fight standing, although he could go to the ground with no problem. But he's going to keep the fight standing and probably KO Worley Alves sometime in the first, early second round to move to 15-1, and one, in my opinion, middleweight division, UFC 294.